a, a video I just watched again, actually, uh, from a, an amateur rocket launch, uh, a go fast rocket that was launched in, in 2014. When you watch that video, the rocket takes off, camera's pointing down. For some reason, cameras are always pointing down and never up, which would be nice if we could see what's going on when they're going up. But anyway, camera's pointing down, rocket takes off, and pretty quickly the rocket starts spinning around like crazy. I mean, you can see the fins and you can see the ground spinning. It might make you dizzy if, uh, if uh, you stare at it too long. So the rocket's spinning as it's, as it's traveling up. And about one minute into the flight, it suddenly just stops rocket just stops and that, that spinning stops everything just stops and it just kind of sits there for a second yeah copy uh, we are not getting uh, telemetry from that last song please stand by And some people have suggested that it hit a dome that may be above us, but I thought at that velocity it would have been destroyed. So I didn't think much of it when I originally watched it, but I have to thank a guy named Jeff who just sent it to me again because it really put some pieces together for what I was working on with this. And uh, when, you, when you watch the video, the rocket just stops. And so I started looking up the stats. This thing, that rocket went over 3,500 miles per hour on that trip. Now, it might not have been going that fast when it stopped, but it was going a few thousand miles per hour at least, and it just, all that energy just suddenly, where did it go? Rockets don't have brakes. It's, it literally stops, and I mean, the, the rotation uh, keeps going a little bit, but all of that angular momentum from the, from the rotation of the rocket and the linear momentum from flying up just stopped? No, it had to hit something. But what did it hit? If it hit a solid surface, the rocket would have been destroyed, and most likely the camera too, so we wouldn't have the footage, and obviously that's not the case. So when you start watching it, around that time, around a minute in, the uh, a few seconds later, the, the two stages separate, this two-stage rocket looks like, and you watch the bottom half of the rocket start to fall down, as you would expect. But then, then the upper half, the, cam the way the camera's mounted to it, starts spinning around, 
And very slowly it starts to go fall back towards Earth. Very slowly. And you might think, well, you know, it got, I have it up here, the GoFast rocket got up to about 117 kilometers. And space, outer space, is considered in the thermolayer. Once you cross into the thermolayer, technically you're in outer space. But what doesn't make sense is, just because you, you fly vertically into outer space doesn't mean that you're just going to float there. That's not how it works, based on the heliocentric model. If you watch Balls Out, Balls Out Physics Episode 3, I talked about how there's you have to have an orbital velocity, and, and these orbital velocities are incredibly fast. You have to be orbiting the Earth to resist the force pulling down on you, gravity, weight, whatever you want to call it, that pulls down on you. You have to do that. You have to do, basically, the string is gravity, just to show this again if you haven't seen that. You have to go, you have to be moving at a high velocity to resist that force. That rocket went straight up. So it should have fallen straight back down. Now just to, to see what the acceleration on that rocket should be, assuming you know, very thin, almost no air up here, because that's what's supposed to be there, I did a calculation at 117 kilometers plus the radius of the Earth, and I found that the acceleration towards Earth, due to gravity if you want to call it that, or due to weight, should be roughly 9.46 meters per second squared. That's not much... <laughs> that rate is pretty close to the rate at sea level, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. So it should have basically done this, but it didn't. It stops and then it just kind of slowly starts sinking, like it's in water or some type of liquid. That's what it looks like. If you really start watching it, the way those pieces are falling, if you get to about 2 minutes and 10 seconds in, you see the other stage the, the lower half of the rocket's still slowly tumbling down like it's in water. According to uh, according to mainstream science, as you get up in these these layers, as the temperature goes up, as you go get up in these layers, the pressure decreases. The pressure becomes almost nothing in the thermo layer and meso layer as well. But suddenly, it just kind of stops and then slowly starts sinking. What's going on here? Is there water there? <laughs> 